The Baselinker system allows the seller to easily generate commercial documents. We can do this in several ways. In the list of orders, I have information about whether the customer is requesting an invoice. In the given order, we have information about the invoice issued. Let's move on to editing. During editing, we can create a duplicate of it. We do it right here. A PDF document has been generated with the information in the upper right corner, of which date is the duplicate. We can issue a correction from this perspective, delete the document, or return to the list. During the addition, we can add a new item on the invoice. We define the basic values, that is, name, EAN number, SKU number, quantity, and gross price with VAT rate. The section below allows you to change the buyer's data. We can edit each field and check its correctness. We confirm such changes by clicking Save. Below the page, we have the Other Data section. We can change the numbering series of our document here. Select a specific number. From this number, all subsequent documents will be generated. Below, we can choose the month, year, creation date, sale date, payment date, payment method, or currency. Let's choose the date of payment. We have the ability to determine the currency conversion. City name. Issuer. Changing the name of us as a seller or additional information. Let's save it. Let's check the edited invoice. As you can see, its numbering and payment date have been changed. Another operation that we can perform is issuing a correction to the order from the list level. We go to Correction. We choose the numbering series. We also have the option of issuing corrections from the invoice editing level. We click Issue Correction. There is a series of numbering again. We confirm. First of all, we determine the reason for the issue. The next step in issuing a correction invoice is to specify all the following data. We need to determine whether there is a change of position or a change of data. We choose the numbering series. Similar to the invoice, we can specify the number of such a correction from which each next one will be numbered method of payment, issuing, or additional text displayed at the bottom of the invoice. We save. Similarly to the invoice, we can issue a duplicate corrective invoice. Let's return to the list. The list of corrections shows the order for which the correction was created. Also, this information is on our PDF document. This is where we have the invoice information. The situation is the same on the list of invoices. We have information about the issued correction. Another way to find out for which order a sales document should be issued can be done through order filtering. Here we can use the sales document filter and specify for example, receipt created. We set the filter. We found one item. Let's go into the order. In the order card, we can enter the receipt to edit it. We can also view all receipts in the receipts tab of the invoices menu. Let's edit the receipt. We can adjust the series of numbering 
change the receipt number, change the month and year to which the receipt is assigned. We can also change the creation date, payment method, or assign buyer's VAT regional number. Let's click Save. Now we can return to the receipt list and view the PDF file with the receipt. We can also cancel receipts. Let's choose this receipt and click Delete Selected. The receipt has been canceled. Let's also delete the receipt. The receipt list is now empty. We can also cancel and delete invoices. Let's cancel a corrective invoice we created earlier. And now, let's delete it. Let's also cancel and delete the invoice. We can also issue and edit pro forma invoices. As you can see, the buyer data on this pro forma invoice needs to be changed. Let's go to order card. Let's change the name and surname on the delivery address and save the data. Let's click Copy Address to the Invoice Data. The invoice data has been copied from the Delivery Address tab. Let's click Save. Let's go back to the Invoices menu and the Pro Forma Invoices tab. We can see that the buyer's name has changed. Let's cancel and delete these invoices.